are given that Karan and Arjun are running a 100 meter race where Karan beats Arjun by 10 meters. Which means when Karan covers 100 meters, Arjun would have covered 90 meters. Or we can say that their speeds are in the ratio of 10 is to 9. Let's assume speed of Karan is 10 meters per second and speed of Arjun is 9 meters per second. Just an assumption. Now, to do a favor to Arjun, Karan starts 10 meters behind the starting line in, a, in the second 100 meter race. They both run at their earlier speeds, which means that uh, Karan would have to cover a total of 110 meters at a speed of 10 meters per second. So he will take a total of 11 seconds to run the second race. Whereas Arjun, Arjun does not have to cover any extra distance. He needs to cover the original 100 meters, but his speed is slightly less at 9 meters per second. So how much time will he take? He will take, so 100 by 9 is 11, 1 by 9 seconds. So who is taking more time? Arjun is taking more time. So if Arjun is taking more time, who will win the race? Karan will win the race. Now, we look at the options. In only one option, we have that Karan wins the race. That is option D and that will be our answer. And now once you have the answer but you are still curious, how do we find out the distance by which Karan wins? Well, Arjun is running for how long? He is running for 11 1 by 9 seconds. So the extra time that he is running for is 1 by 9 seconds. So in this extra time, how much distance will he cover? 1 by 9 at a speed 1 by 9 seconds at a speed of 9 meters per second. He will cover an extra distance of 1 meters. So that is the distance by which Karan beats Arjun. I hope you got this. The answer is option D. Thank you.